this. But again, like, you know, you don't see them wading into, into, into spaces where um, there is there is a little bit of, of minefields. I mean, one of the nice things during Sikh Heritage Month was the release by, um, you know, the um, Historica Canada celebrating, you know, uh, Baldi, right? The mill town that was founded by Six in BC. I don't know if you saw that Heritage Minute. That, that but they also use the term South Asian, that's, didn't they? That's right. So... They release it during Sikh Heritage Month, yet it's completely framed in South Asianness. What was South Asian about Sikhs in BC? You know who set up a gurdwara? Like they, how how you now go back? They wouldn't even been familiar with the term South Asian. <laughs> right that's true and, and actually they might have been called hindus back then yeah, they, they, hundred absolutely they probably would have been and you know again like racist way to for for white people to do this but for, for now to see the the term south asian be brought into that um is really problematic and we all understand how the use of south asian in, in the west is a form of 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 a, type of lateral discrimination against minority communities like ours. Um, and another thing that you saw happening in BC was um, the government there had set up a consultation for a potential new South Asian museum. Um, and it was scheduled for April 13th, which is Vasaki. And so, you know, there was a, a pushback there from from some groups in terms of, you know how problematic this is, and and um, I would I suggest everybody go check out uh, Wanjara's collections, which is a, a sick collection of rare artifacts, and they they were the ones to kind of step up in BC to to talk about how the use of the term South Asian as a blanket term is insensitive, but and also harmful, and are making that argument. But yet, you know, during this entire month um, of Sick Heritage Month, you you didn't. Um, you didn't see anybody in, from a, the political classes step up to to raise this issue, uh, but yeah, I, I think you nailed it, um, Jasper. In terms of, you know, it, it's it is troubling. It is troubling to see how you know reductive some of this is, and and, and the way that this is being used to kind of um, erase a bit of our our identity and our history. Here's my issue with. With the, and, and there's people who've written about it more, far more eloquently, and I encourage you to um, engage in and, and listen to those things. Because on the surface, especially when you use a month to commemorate something, it feels like a celebration. It feels like a, a validation. You feel like, why would you be critical of South Asian Heritage Month? You should feel seen and you should feel celebrated. When you do human rights work, when you do anti-oppressive work, when you do work from a Canadian sick perspective... Um, there is a context that we come from where there is violence amongst racialized communities on the basis of faith, on the basis of ethnicity. So these are like race, ethnicity, religion. These are different things. They are overlapping and intersecting, but they're different. So whereas I can be here and be standing to someone else next to someone else who's brown we could both be South Asian and we are definitely both going to experience racism on the basis of race. And we both will experience um, discrimination because we're brown. Are, there is a very different, when you take it from a religious perspective, there's a very different relationship. And there is the violence and the genocide that we have experienced as six has been at the hands of other brown people. And that is, I would call it a nuance, but it's not a nuance. It's such large scale, scale violence that it's life and death and genocide. That genocide happened amongst what you would call South Asian people. How does it help me if you're celebrating my oppressor at the same time that you're claiming to celebrate me? You can't put everyone in the same group. Anti-Sikh violence and the experience of anti-Sikh violence, especially as a Canadian Sikh, is rooted very specifically in a Sikh identity that's worth naming separately from the larger Bella term South Asian. There is an experience of being, <clears throat> like very small examples, being a Sikh with a kurban or the stad and going through um, security that other South Asian folks 
might not experience. If you don't wear a kirpan or you don't wear a dasar, you might not experience what my family experiences when we go through airport security. Being under the surveillance and being impacted by the foreign interference of the Indian state. That is not something you will experience if you are a Hindu supremacist in Canada. So that is something that like my being watched, the schools uh, being told they can't speak about the farmers protests, um, people going up against the and coming out pro caste when the TDSB was trying to pass an anti caste bill. These are all unique experiences amongst brown people of violence. And so I'm very hesitant to I won't be participating in um, South Asian Heritage Month. And I'm going to use that time to reflect on and finally appreciate the conversations that are coming out, but reflect on um, why we need more nuance in that term and be there at the table to define what anti-sick hate is. And, and I think we, we garner strength in being able to name the mechanisms of violence against us because then we can push back against them. So there's value there. I also think there's value in saying like, our experience is different than a black experience, is different than an indigenous experience. And me being able to explain how um, indigenous women are uh, missing and murdered and how that is specific to an ind indigenous experience helps me advocate better for calling a state of emergency because bodies are ending up in landfills and it helps me be a better activist and better ally in those spaces. And so I, I claim the same thing for six. If we can name it and if we can define it, we can do a better job of undoing some of that violence. But yeah, South Asian Heritage Month. Keep your eyes open, folks. Uh, listen to the discourses. If you participate, stay critical, uh, stay engaged. And no matter what your take is on any of the things we talked about today, um, Amrapal Singh, Coronation, South Asian Heritage Month, I guarantee no two of us are going to agree. I think that's the beauty of the month. I think that's why we need to ask Canadian Six what they think, because you'll get different opinions. Uh, but 